All right, guys, this is the new webcam by Obsbot. It's called the Obsbot Meet 4K. I'm super excited to try this out. I'm a huge fan of the Obsbot brand. I've reviewed one of their webcams in the past, the Obsbot Tiny, and that was a 4K edition as well. Perfect quality for me, and I'm excited to see how this performs. The 4K version here is $199, but you can also get the 1080p version for $129. So let's go ahead and unbox this and showcase the capabilities and the quality of this webcam in various different lighting conditions. Also test out the audio quality because this does have some inbuilt microphones on there. Let's unbox this and let's get straight into it. Meet your e-meet. This is presumably the user manuals. There we go, inside. Here we have the webcam. Very compact, it looks very nice and very high quality build to be honest. It's not cheap plastic, it's very durable aluminium. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, as I mentioned, this is an AI powered 4K webcam. It has a Sony One 2.8 inch sensor. It has an 86 degree field of view and it has a crystal clear image which you know even works great in low lighting and we're going to test that. Else in the box, you've got yourself here some accessories. So you have a USB-C to USB-C cable to connect the webcam to your laptop. You also have a mount which actually is magnetic and I think that's great because then you don't need to worry about mounting this on any screw or anything like that but it does have a quarter inch thread there at the bottom so if you wanted to use this on a tripod for example then you can absolutely do that you have yourself the usb port just there at the bottom this is a magnetic build so when i attach it like this it's very strong magnet and i think that's great because it gives you the flexibility to remove this very easily and to reposition this so I will be mounting this on my laptop, but this is perfect to add on top of a monitor or wherever you like. This is actually a very nice gesture as well. So if you wanted a little bit of privacy, then this is actually the lens cap. So if you just place that on top of there, you can use this to open up the lens or whenever you are not using your webcam, simply close that lid. And that is a very nice feature to have inside a box like this. And if you don't have USB-C ports on your laptop, then you can also use the USB-C to traditional USB-A adapter. So that's everything in the box. Let's go ahead and set this up. But essentially, I'm going to trial a couple of things using the power button here at the top. If you press this once, it will turn on and off something called auto framing, which basically allows the webcam to keep you center frame. And if you do move around, it will automatically adjust to follow you a little bit by adjusting the zoom levels and making sure you are automatically framed in the middle. If you double tap this, it can turn on and off a virtual background. I'll also test that out. And finally, if you press and hold this for three seconds, that's where this will activate and deactivate the sleep mode. So if you just wanted to turn this off and you're not going to use it for a while, you can put it to sleep by just holding that down for three seconds. In addition to that, I will be testing maybe the two different focus modes that come on this. First one is autofocus, so that will keep focus center stage. So you can showcase things and hold up objects. And you know, if you do this for review videos, that would be great to showcase something like that. But if you use this for meetings, then you can also switch this to face focus mode. And that keeps focus on your face whilst adjusting the bokeh in the background. And I'm also going to show some examples using this. All of these things are complemented with the Obspot Meet app, which I've also downloaded from my laptop. And I'll showcase some of the features of the app as well and what you can do there. One of the key things, if you wanted to adjust the picture and really utilize that 4K lens, is you can turn on HDR mode, which will essentially balance the exposure, the shadows, the contrast, and the contours to make the image even clearer, regardless of your background. You'll notice just on the left and the right, these are the dual omnidirectional microphones and they also have noise reduction built onto it. So I'm also going to test the audio on this. Although I'm not a big fan of using inbuilt microphones for the webcams to use my audio, I will usually have a headset, but as a comparison, I will showcase that to you guys as well. So let's go ahead and set this up and see how it performs. Okay, so now I've just set up the webcam on top of my laptop. It was very simple to do so. The magnetic hold on there is very strong and the USB cable, there's enough length on it to go around a large monitor and connect directly to your laptop.
Okay, guys, now that everything is set up, I just wanted to showcase a comparison by using the internal webcam on my MacBook Pro, which is the FaceTime HD camera. And I'm also using the internal microphone of my MacBook Pro as well to showcase the difference in the audio levels. So before I switch over, I just wanted you guys to hear how this sounds. And I'm going to then use the internal mic of my Obspot 4K Meet. So let me go ahead and do that. But first of all, let me change the video and you guys can see immediately the difference in the quality. There we go. Wow, that's pretty amazing, to be honest, how much that looks different compared to the internal webcams. And let me just recenter my camera. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is quickly showcase how the audio sounds from the Opspot Meet 4K, and I'll make the switch right now. There we go. This is the audio quality coming from the Obspot Meet 4K. I've never been a fan of using the microphones inbuilt into my webcams because I feel like they're not as high quality as my MacBook Pro. And in most cases, I will generally use a headset or my own headphones. And I think you guys will do the same. If for any reason you don't have your headset or headphones or your microphone on your laptop is broken, and as a last resort, you need to use the internal mic on your webcam, then this is the sound quality you would get from this webcam. From the ones I've tested in the past, this one definitely does sound a lot better, especially if I get a little bit closer to the microphone, you can hear this is so much clearer. Of course, I think it's still not as great as my MacBook Pro microphone, but no one is going to be speaking like this and no one's going to get that close to a webcam. So what I'm going to do is hopefully, you know, that gave you an idea of the audio quality. I'm just going to switch the microphone back to my MacBook Pro. There we go. Only because this will be a lot clearer for you guys to hear the rest of my review. Now, as I mentioned, you can press the button on the webcam itself to do different things. Single tap will turn on auto framing. So let me do that now. There we go. As you can see, I'm going to start moving around and the AI technology on this, it keeps the person center frame no matter where they're moving by adjusting the various zoom levels, making sure no matter where you are positioned, it will always try to keep you center. Now, if you're the type of person that has to move around a little bit, then this will be great for you. And you don't need to worry about being off screen or if you're presenting something, this will capture everything. And it has that 86 degree field of view to make sure everything works fine. Let me go ahead and turn that off. The double tap will turn on a virtual background. Now, a lot of the video call apps like Teams and Zoom, they have their inbuilt default virtual backgrounds already, but Opspot, Meetcam, the app also has some themselves that you can utilize. I'm going to double press this. The default one, which most people will use is the blur background, which you know I think it does relatively a good job. But if I go into the app, you can adjust the virtual background. So let me go and dive into the app now. I'll just turn this off and showcase some of the features that are available in the app. Okay, so this is the Oswald Meet Cam. So pretty straightforward options here. You've got the auto framing there in the beginning. So if I turn this back on, you have a couple of modes, single mode and group mode. Single mode, if you're by yourself, this does exactly the job that I was showcasing. There's close up and upper body on that. Close up will just keep focus on you and your face and just part of your upper body. But if you want, you know, from your waist upwards, you can switch to upper body and that will capture that. So if you wanted to move around, this is how it would look. It essentially keeps everything from your waist up in center focus. You know, it's really clever how it does that. And, you know, I'm super impressed at the performance. If I go to group mode, if you have multiple people in the shot, then as soon as someone comes in, the camera will automatically adjust to get all of you into the frame, which I think is also a great option, especially if you're back in the office and you have a meeting with your colleagues and you want to get all of them in the frame. If you switch to group mode, this will do a great job in capturing all of you. Now, if I turn back a virtual background, like I mentioned, the first option there is blur. You can also switch to green screen. There's a blue and a green background that you can adjust to maybe add some of your own cool things in the background. It might even be a video. And then replacement 
these are the standard ones where you have photos of cool things in the backgrounds that you can just change to and you can add your own directly from the meet cam app if i turn that off everything on the right hand side you can see by default 86 degree field of view i can switch it down to 78 and just have a really more focused one on me towards 65. There's also a zoom slider. So if you wanted to manually zoom in, it goes up to four times zoom, which you know most people won't be using that. But overall, if you did want to showcase something, then that's something that you can do very close up. You also have a settings options here on the left on the app. There's a few things you can adjust from here as well. Anti-flicker, I've got that set to 60 hertz, but you can turn it off or have it on 50 hertz. If you have very poor lighting wherever you are, then you can turn HDR on. Let me turn it off. For me personally, it's not making so much difference because I have good lighting and everything is well lit in my room. So the changes, you might not be able to see on the screen, however you're watching this YouTube video, but if you do have very poor lighting, then turning that on would be a good option. Earlier on in the video, I did mention about the different focus modes. You have autofocus and face focus. So autofocus, this will basically, if I turn face focus off, allow me to showcase objects center frame. So the focus from the camera is anything in the middle will be in focus. So I've just got a set of microphones here for my iPhone. If I put it in the center, it takes a couple of seconds. You'll see the focus will be adjusted. There we go. If I get it a little bit closer, it adjusts it automatically. The further back I get, it will just take a couple of seconds. It's not the fastest, but it does a pretty good job. So if I do this very closely and now move it away, my face took a couple of seconds to get back into focus. But it's a good option if you are showcasing things to your audience. If I turn on face focus, this essentially will just make sure that my face is the only thing in focus. So if I do start showcasing various different things, then it won't put that in focus. It will just keep me, which is great for having important meetings or interviews and things like that. Then you've got a few different options here. You can change the button configurations, the noise reductions, virtual backgrounds, like I showed you. Add in some global hotkeys if that's something you'd like to do. Option for a remote controller to control the webcam, change the language options and update the firmware and things like that. So pretty basic options. And, you know, I'm pretty happy with how this camera works. And overall, you know, this is a great choice for anyone looking for a high quality webcam for all of your remote working needs, taking video calls, or even using this to do any type of filming, maybe beauty tutorials for YouTube and tech reviews and, you know, all these kind of things. If that's something you'd like to do with a camera like this, it's perfectly great to do that. So that's it guys, the Obspot Meet 4K. I'm super impressed with this. The build quality on this I think is great. The magnetic mount, the lens cap, everything they've just thought of has worked great for this. In my own personal opinion, I think this is definitely worth the price. Check out the link in the description below for more information and to recap all of the capabilities and the features of the Obspot Meet 4K. If you wanted to spend a little bit less money then absolutely go for the 1080p version if you're just using it for basic video calls with your colleagues working remotely there's many different use cases for this but overall i'm super happy if you guys have any other questions about this webcam drop a comment down below and i'll get back to you guys as soon as i can otherwise if you like this review and you like all things tech i have new videos out every week so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those ones and i will catch you guys at the next one take care